Hello composers and future composers. Chris Owenby here. I'm so excited that you're joining me for this video lesson. Today I'm going to teach you all about basic rhythm. So let's dive on in. There are four basic notes that you need to know. The quarter note, the half note, the dotted half note, and the whole note. I'm going to explain each one of these notes in detail. This is the quarter note. Notice that the quarter note is solid. It's colored in, and this line here is called the stem, and notice it's pointing upward. It can also be written on the left side of the note head pointing downward. This is the quarter note. It's important to recognize how it looks. It's colored in, it's solid, and it receives one beat. Now a beat is basically the main accent or rhythmic unit. So depending on my tempo, the speed of the music, a quarter note would be played on each one of these accents that I'm snapping, each one of these beats or rhythmic units. So if I were to sing quarter notes to this tempo or this speed, it would sound like this. Ready, go. La, 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 la. So notice that I sung a quarter note over each beat. The quarter note gets one beat. This is the half note. Notice the difference in the way it looks. It's not colored in. It's not solid. The stem is still there, and again, it can be written on the left side pointing downward. But it's important to recognize the difference between the quarter note, how the quarter note is solid, and the half note is not solid. The half note equals two beats. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to sing one, two, one, two, like this, but I'm actually going to hold that note or sing that note over the course the duration of two beats. So let me demonstrate. One, two, ready, go. La, la. So you notice how I sung the half note through two beats. Demonstrate one more time. One, two, ready, sing. La, la. So this is the half note. Now this note is called a dotted half note. Notice it looks exactly the same as the half note, but we're adding a dot. And what this dot does is it adds half of the value of whatever note it's attached to, half of that note's value back to itself. So remember, the half note receives two beats, well, half of 2 equals 1, so 2 plus 1 equals 3, the dotted half note. Now, the same thing that I did with the half note, I'm going to sing the dotted half note over the course of the three beats. So 1, 2, sing. La, la. So you notice the dotted half note's duration was much longer, or one beat longer, than the half note. This is the whole note. Now notice the whole note doesn't have a stem. It's just this thick oval shape, and it's not solid. It has this open space. The whole note equals four beats. Now like the half note and the dotted half note, I'm going to sing a whole note over the duration of four beats, or rhythmic units. So let me demonstrate. One, two, ready, sing. La, la. So there you go, the whole note. So just to recap, we have the quarter note, which is solid, and it receives one beat. This is the most basic note, or the most basic uh, rhythm. We're going to sing quarter notes over the course of one beat, like so. La, 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 la. This is the half note. Notice that it's not solid, and it receives two beats. I'm going to sing half notes over the course of two beats, or rhythmic units. Ready, sing. La, la. And this is the dotted half note. Remember, the dot adds half of the value of whatever note it's attached to back to itself. So 2 plus 1 gives me 3 beats. Ready? Sing. La, la. 
And finally, the whole note, which doesn't have a stem, and it's this thick oval shape that's not solid. It receives four beats. One, two, ready, sing. La. So I hope you've enjoyed this free video lesson uh, explaining basic rhythm. And if you'd like to take a free ear training course, I offer one of these at theartfulcomposer.com slash ear training 101. And you're going to learn all about rhythm in more detail as well as how to sight sing certain intervals. You'll learn all about what intervals are, and these are essential uh, for musicians to know and understand. It's very important that we as musicians constantly developing our ear because it makes us into better musicians. So I want you to take advantage of this free ear training course. So today go to theartfulcomposer.com slash ear training 101 and I'll see you next time.